Kidney disease is a common problem affecting about 10% of the world's population. The kidneys are small but powerful bean-shaped organs that perform many important functions. They are responsible for filtering waste products, releasing hormones that regulate blood pressure, balancing fluids in the body, producing urine, and many other essential tasks. There are various ways in which these vital organs can become damaged. Diabetes and high blood pressure are the most common risk factors for kidney disease. However, obesity, smoking, genetics, gender, and age can also increase the risk. Uncontrolled blood sugar and high blood pressure cause damage to blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to function optimally. When the kidneys aren't working properly, waste builds up in the blood, including waste products from food. Therefore, it's necessary for people with kidney disease to follow a special diet. Before we begin please click the like button and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of amazing topics to share with you. Welcome to Innovatronics TV and here are the 15 Foods for Kidney Disease Red Bell Peppers Red bell peppers are low in potassium and high in flavor, but that's not the only reason they're perfect for the kidney diet. These tasty vegetables are also an excellent source of vitamin C and A, as well as vitamin B6, folic acid and fiber. Red bell peppers are good for you because they contain lycopene, an antioxidant that helps protects against certain cancers. Eat red bell peppers raw with dip as a snack or appetizer, or mix them into tuna or chicken salad. You can also roast peppers and use them as a topping on sandwiches or lettuce salads, chop them for an omelet, add them to kebabs in the grill or stuff peppers with ground turkey or beef and bake them for a main dish. Cabbage A cruciferous vegetable, cabbage is packed full of phytochemicals, chemical compounds in fruit or vegetables that break up free radicals before they can do damage. Many phytochemicals are also known to help protect cells from damage that could lead to cancer, as well as foster cardiovascular health. High in vitamin K, vitamin C, and fiber, cabbage is also a good source of vitamin B6 and folic acid. Low in potassium and low in cost, it's an affordable addition to the kidney diet. Raw cabbage makes a great addition to the dialysis diet as coleslaw or a topping for fish tacos. You can steam, microwave or boil it, add butter or cream cheese plus pepper or caraway seeds and serve it as a side dish. Cabbage rolls made with turkey are a great appetizer, and if you're feeling fancy, you can stuff a cabbage with ground meat and bake it for a flavorful meal bursting with nutrients. Cauliflower Another cruciferous vegetable, cauliflower is high in vitamin C and a good source of folate and fiber. It's also packed full of indoles, glucosinolates and thiocyanates compounds that help the liver neutralize toxic substances that could damage cell membranes and DNA. Serve it raw as crudité with dip, add it to a salad, or steam or boil it and season with spices such as turmeric, curry powder, pepper and herb seasonings. You can also make a non-dairy white sauce, pour it over the cauliflower and bake until tender. You can pair cauliflower with pasta or even mash cauliflower as a dialysis diet replacement for mashed potatoes. Garlic Garlic has antimicrobial properties that help prevent plaque from forming on your teeth, lowers cholesterol and reduces inflammation. Buy it fresh, bottled, minced or powdered, and add it to meat, vegetable or pasta dishes. You can also roast a head of garlic and spread it on bread. Garlic provides a delicious flavor and garlic powder is a great substitute for salt in the dialysis diet. Onions Onion, a member of the allium family and a basic flavoring in many cooked dishes, contains sulfur compounds which give it its pungent smell. But in addition to making some people cry, onions are also rich in flavonoids, especially quercetin, a powerful antioxidant that may reduce heart disease and protect against many cancers. Onions are low in potassium and a good source of chromium, a mineral that helps with carbohydrate, fat and protein metabolism. Try using a variety of onions including white, brown, red and others. Eat onions raw on burgers, sandwiches and in salads, or cook them and use as a caramelized topping. If you have an air fryer, you can also try making homemade onion rings. Apples 
Apples may help reduce cholesterol, prevent constipation, protect against heart disease and reduce the risk of cancer. High in fiber and anti-inflammatory compounds, an apple a day may really help keep the doctor away, good news for people with kidney disease who already have their share of doctor visits. This kidney diet winner can be paired with the previous good-for-you food, onions, to make a unique apple onion omelet. Apples are versatile. You can eat them raw, make baked apples, stew apples, make them into apple sauce, or drink them as apple juice or apple cider. Cranberries. These tangy, tasty berries may protect against bladder infections by preventing bacteria from sticking to the bladder wall. In a similar way, cranberries may also protect the stomach from ulcer-causing bacteria and improve overall healthy gut bacteria, promoting GI health. Cranberries have also been shown to help protect against cancer and heart disease. Cranberry juice and cranberry sauce are the most frequently consumed cranberry products. You can also add dried cranberries to salads or have them as a snack. Blueberries Blueberries are high in antioxidant phytonutrients called anthocyanidins, which give them their blue color, and they are bursting with natural compounds that help reduce inflammation. Blueberries are a good source of vitamin C, manganese a compound that keeps your bones healthy and fiber. They may also help protect the brain from some of the effects of aging. Antioxidants in blueberries and other berries may help slow down bone loss. Buy blueberries fresh, frozen or dried, and try them in cereal, or topped with whipped topping in a fruit smoothie. You can also drink blueberry juice. Raspberries Raspberries contain a phytonutrient called ellagic acid, which helps neutralize free radicals in the body to prevent cell damage. They also contain flavonoids called anthocyanins, antioxidants which give them their red color. An excellent source of manganese, vitamin C, fiber and folate, AB vitamin, raspberries may have properties that inhibit cancer cell growth and tumor formation. Add raspberries to cereal, puree and sweeten them to make a dessert sauce, or add them to vinaigrette dressing. Strawberries Strawberries are rich in two types of phenols, anthocyanins and elagitanins. Anthocyanins are what give strawberries their red color and are powerful antioxidants that help protect body cell structures and prevent oxidative damage. Strawberries are an excellent source of vitamin C and manganese, and a very good source of fiber. They may provide heart protection, as well as anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory components. Eat strawberries with cereal, smoothies and salads, or slice and serve them fresh or top them with whipped topping. If you'd like a more elaborate dessert, you can make strawberry pudding or sorbet, or puree, and sweeten them to serve as a dessert. Cherries Cherries have been shown to reduce inflammation when eaten daily. They are also packed with antioxidants and phytochemicals that help protect the heart. Eat fresh cherries as a snack or make a cherry sauce to serve with lamb or pork. Cherry juice is another way to consume this tasty food. Red grapes Red grapes contain several flavonoids that give them their reddish color. Flavonoids help protect against heart disease by preventing oxidation and reducing the formation of blood clots. Resveratrol, a flavonoid found in grapes, may also stimulate production of nitric oxide which helps relax muscle cells in the blood vessels to increase blood flow. These flavonoids also provide protection against cancer and help prevent inflammation. Buy grapes with red or purple skin since their anthocyanin content is higher. Freeze them to eat as a snack or to quench thirst for those on a fluid restriction for the dialysis diet. Add grapes to a fruit salad or chicken salad. Try a unique kidney diet recipe for turkey kebabs that features grapes. You can also drink them as grape juice. Egg whites. Egg whites are pure protein and provide high-quality protein with all the essential amino acids. For the kidney diet, egg whites provide protein with less phosphorus than other protein sources such as egg yolk or meats. Buy powdered, fresh or pasteurized egg whites. Make an omelet or egg white sandwich, add pasteurized egg whites to smoothies or shakes, make deviled egg snacks, or add whites of hard-boiled eggs to tuna salad or garden salad to add extra protein. 
Fish Fish provides high-quality protein and contains anti-inflammatory fats called omega-3s. The healthy fats in fish can help fight diseases such as heart disease and cancer. Omega-3s also help lower low-density lipoprotein or LDL cholesterol, which is bad cholesterol, and raise high-density lipoprotein or HDL cholesterol, which is good cholesterol. The American Heart Association 1 and American Diabetes Association 2 recommend eating fish at least two times a week. The fish highest in omega-3s include white fish, striped bass, herring, mackerel, rainbow trout, and salmon. Olive Oil Olive oil is a great source of oleic acid, an anti-inflammatory fatty acid. The monounsaturated fat in olive oil helps protect against oxidation. Olive oil is rich in polyphenols and antioxidant compounds that prevent inflammation and oxidation. Studies show that populations that use large amounts of olive oil instead of other oils have lower rates of heart disease and cancer. Buy virgin or extra virgin olive oil because they are higher in antioxidants. Use olive oil in cooking, to make salad dressing, for dipping bread in, or for marinating vegetables. That ends today's video about 15 foods for kidney disease. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button to be updated on our new feature videos. Comment down below if you want us to tackle more interesting topics about different diseases. Once again this is Innovatronics TV. Thank you for watching.